Uh, Benny, did we get any, we got back to her, and is she going to come on or not? Why not? She didn't say. What, no, no, come in, come in here and tell me, come in here and get on the microphone. Let, let's just sort this out. Grab, uh, which one, which one are you on? Tap one of them. Guess one. Yeah, guess one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. You don't, well, I don't know you need the headphones. Yep. Oh, I like to look professional, Sean. Okay, all right. So, what did you say? W what did she say? Well, I just went back to her and said, well, I'm surprised that you thought we were RNZ because, I mean, first of all, my email that I sent it to is being at theplatform.kiwi. I said I produce the morning show on the platform for Sean Plunkett. Would you like to come and talk to us about the Today O Checkouts? Uh, introduces part of Māori Language Week, which she said yes to. And then uh, uh, Kelly then mentioned the platform again on the phone when talking to her. Yeah. Um, and then she said she was rushing off to do an interview with RNZ, so couldn't do it with us. Obviously, she thought we were RNZ, um, so then I just messaged her, So yeah. this woman may just be incompetent or on drugs. Well, I don't know. I think it's hard to get to the top of corporate affairs or whatever for Countdown and, and not be an observant person. So we've rung her back and we said, well, sorry about your misunderstanding. We haven't misrepresented ourselves well, at, a, at all. We'd right. like to offer you the chance to come, come on, on the show. The yeah. show's open between now and 9 o'clock, yeah. and uh, she just well, refused and said she didn't feel comfortable talking about... Uh, that issue during Māori Language Week. So, uh, yeah, it looks what? like a no. But she seemed quite happy to do it uh, with RNZ, obviously, you mentioned, for which you were their uh, yeah. primary So presenter. has she been on RNZ? Have we figured out she actually done an interview on RNZ? No, I think the, the mix-up was she thought that she was going we on RNZ and New we were Zealand. RNZ, yeah. Well, we're better than Radio New Zealand. Um, that is so strange, Ben. It really is. And you must be disappointed. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm shattered. You. I'm going to blame you. I'm I? shattered. Yeah, exactly. That's why, you know. So I thought I'd send a, a follow-up text, but it doesn't look like we're going to uh, right. get that one. I wonder if we don't ring her live on air. Why not? We've done it before. We've done it before. But, oh, do I have to be complaint de complaints department again for that one? Yeah, you will. Oh, okay. You All will. Right. Okay. So what we'll do I'll is we're going to take a break. We're then going to give a ring live on air and see if she'll answer the phone and we'll just try and get to it. Righto. All right, good on you, Ben. Uh, let, let's take a quick break. Hello? Ha ha Hello? Is that Kerry? Hello. Yeah. Kerry, it's Sean Plunkett calling from the platform. Hi. Hi, we're just trying to figure out what happened this morning. Oh, look, Sean, I, I made a mistake. I thought I was in an RNZ interview, uh, which I was happy to take, but I'm not really that keen to sort of be uh, grilled on whether or not, um, and I could be wrong, I could be, you know, com completely um, misguided by your, question, your line of questioning, but I just don't want to be really questioned on whether... Oh, I'm just... OK, what, can I establish first? Can I establish first? So we sent you an email that said we were the platform. Yeah. We didn't and represent us as Radio New Zealand. And, no, and then you, when you we didn't. rang, we said, OK, what's the difference between doing an interview on the platform and Radio New Zealand? On this matter, I just don't really think it's a matter that needs to be, you know, criticised or questioned. So it's basically just a piece of PR spin and you want an easy ride? Yeah, that's exactly why I don't want to do it with you, for that exact reason. Wow. Wow, Kerry, that's an amazing admission. Um, did you have a whole lot of customers who wanted you to make your checkout robots bilingual? Uh, Sean, I, I really just don't think it's an appropriate conversation to have. Well, with then why other. bother I, I putting out a media release on. singing your praises if you don't want the media to take an interest in your story? Okay, thank you. Yep, I hear your view. Yep, that, that's fine. Thank, thanks, Sean. Sorry to um, to muck around your team. Well, no, you really have. But more than that, Kerry, I guess I think it makes Countdown look like they're not really prepared to enter into genuine public debate about issues of the day and that you're just trying to kind of, I don't know, uh, ride on the Tereo week for your own public relations purposes. Mm-hmm. OK. Well, yeah, thank you for your view. We know that's not correct, but that... Well, what, well, what is correct the then, Kerry? What is correct? Am I on air, Sean? Yeah. That's incredibly misleading. No, you. it's not. I asked for an interview and you said yeah, you'd give one, so now we're having it. For these very reasons. No, that's, that's really, really not OK. Well, I think promising so to sorry, give an interview Sam, and then not giving it isn't OK. I'm, OK. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everybody. All right. Cheers. Bye. Well, that's amazing because we did get the admission. We don't want to be interviewed because this is just a PR stunt. And I, we're going to have to go and replay that. So we're going to put that up. 
We've got two great interviews now out of this. We've got Carl. Someone says, I liked Carl better. That's from Kimberly. Um, I didn't get a chance to ask about the mandates. Well, she didn't really want to do the interview, did she? But she did say, she did say, I just got it wrong. Well, how? We didn't lie to you. We didn't misrepresent. And I've, are we getting a complaint? Maybe the complaints department, which is Ben, is going to get another complaint. That's her on the phone now. Oh, is she swearing at you, Ben? No? OK. Well, she can complain to the Broadcasting Standards Authority. That'll be interesting. Well, it has been quite a developing morning. We did, in the end, get our interview with the lady, uh, Kerry Hannafin, uh, from uh, Countdown. After Carl had done such a good job standing in. But funnily enough, ben, Ben's phone rang after that impromptu. Well, it wasn't impromptu. She said, am I on air? Well, yeah, you agreed to be on air last night. OK, you thought it was Radio New Zealand, but you still agreed to the interview. So, Ben, who is also head of the complaints department, uh, yeah, Ben. Here we go. Back so out your mobile end. went soon after Kerry so graciously left the interview I was doing with her. What was the general gist of the conversation you've just had? <laughs> it was had. a repeat of the last complaints department, really same old stuff. She was a little bit more uh, polite in terms of the Didn't language she so used. Much. Didn't That's swear not... as much. Yeah. Um, was any of it in Terea? No, it was in Terea. I could not know. She just uh, said that it was an, an, an outrageous and uh, uh, um, uh, advocating broadcasting uh, duties. Um, said we should hang our heads in shame. I said I would pass the hang complaints. Hang our heads in shame. Yeah. Okay. Also, she took issue with the fact that I gave her cell phone number out, which I was confused about because I said, of course I did. That's Well, we, you, you didn't give it out. You gave it to I gave Kelly. it to the producer because there was an and interview. she's in the same organisation. Promised. Um, We're not going to read out her phone number on air, are we? No. I wonder what sort of day she's going to have at work today. So, did she lodge a formal complaint? I think she'd add, or do I think we she think has, we can take that conversation as a formal complaint? Yeah, so now I'm just, you know, doing Reporting my duties. I'm relaying it to you and uh, you can do with it as you see fit. Yeah, OK, uh, well, let's report it. Excellent work on the, being in the complaints department. Oh, well, thank We're you very much. Big, big tick there and, um, all right, that's that's dealt with. Yeah, Excellent. I think so. Do you, are you happy with... Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy okay, with the outcome, right, sweet. outcome of that. And, and she didn't swear this time, though. No. And the conversation wasn't English. It wasn't a robot. Yeah, 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 it was in English, yeah. Pity I still didn't get to ask her about the uh, vaccine mandates. Great work. Oh, thanks very much. Great work, Ben. And and, and uh, maybe we need to put in your email address, definitely not Radio New Zealand. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> maybe I should just add that as a disclaimer at the bottom of emails from yeah. now on. Good on you, mate. Thank you very much indeed. That is Ben Espiner, my producer who works for The Platform, not Radio New Zealand. He's also head of the uh, complaints department. I think we can take that was a formal complaint there. From uh, Kiri Hannafin, who is still at present the Director of Corporate Affairs uh, for Countdown. Vocal has got her job. Sean, absolutely astonishing, this text says. I bet the complaints department is having a great laugh. I hope Ben suggested that you have a cup of tea and a lie down. Love your works, guys, says Joe. Sean, read Kiri Hannafin interview. Clearly RNZ is a preferred supplier. The platform, not so much. Cancelled. Yeah, and that's maybe why I did it like that. Um, sorry. Um, why wouldn't you come on the platform? Oh, because we won't get the compliant woke questions that we might get at RNZ. I'm sorry, Kerry, complete incompetence on your part. And feel free to complain to the Broadcasting Standards Authority, but unfortunately you'll find they don't have any jurisdiction over us because we don't have a broadcasting licence and we don't need one. Um, Sean, just joined the platform. That interview with Countdown was terrific, says Chris. Um, morning, Sean. Both Countdown chief executive interview this morning are the best thing I've ever heard, says Linda. I would say those are, that are some of the more interesting. I'm just wondering, do we package them together? No, I think we drop. I think we drop the bogus interview first, and then we'll put the real interview. Um, sure. <laughs> And we will get them up. That will be Ryan's first job when he comes in today. Sean, we're talking about a corporation that introduced gender-neutral toilets. Everything they do is driven by wokeness and political correctness by a bunch of hand-wringing bureaucrats, says Monique. I'm thinking we're never going to get an ad placed on the platform from Countdown. Sean, Kerry is leaving Countdown soon to work at Air New Zealand, <laughs> so she won't care. Is she really? Because that would be another woke place. Um, Sean, I think she was referencing your request with her 
was a PR stunt. Yeah. Media spin, yep, that's what it is. Give that woman a shovel and let her keep digging. Ha ha, bloody good, Sean. Well, what an admission. Sean, there is opening. <laughs> Carl, there's an opening for a job at Countdown. <laughs> See someone. Um, Sean, did you ever hear back from Paula Penpold for an interview? No, I haven't. She bagged me all over other media, never gave me a right of reply. Um, thank you very much. Sean, pure gold. Uh, even better, laugh talking to Countdown. She is not prepared to discuss it. What does that tell us? Um, I like Carl better, says Kimberly. Uh, 12 million hush money, at least he doesn't have to pay it back. Uh, Sean, Countdown probably think Carl did such a good job, there's now no need to do the interview. Thanks to you and Carl, best Kiwi humour for a long time, much needed, says Jerry. Sean, the guy that shouted at Prince Andrew should have been arrested because he was Australian, says Phil. Um, Sean, I'm no royalist. I think they are a waste of space, but agree with you on that's inappropriate at anyone's mother's funeral. On another note, since the Queen's death, you will no longer get a letter when you turn 100. Instead, you will get a text from Prince Andrew when you turn 14. That is actually pretty good. That, sometimes I like reading a text that I haven't pre-read. That is actually pretty good. Um, wow, what a fun morning we have had. Someone cancelling an interview has never been so, uh, so much fun in my entire life.